Hey everyone, this is Nathan Craddock, and this is a quick overview of an add-on I created called Impulse. Impulse lets you give rigid body objects a starting velocity really easily. Here are a few examples that I have created. So, after you've installed the add-on, created an object, let's add a monkey, and let's just place it wherever we want, scale it up a bit, and apply the scale. Always apply scale when doing physics simulations. Now to have Suzanne launch at the wall of cubes, let's go to the physics tab, and with, under the impulse panel, click add object. Now, let's just have Suzanne fly at the wall along the y-axis at 25 meters per second. And just to make sure Suzanne actually goes through the wall, let's make Suzanne a little bit heavier. That should do. So now all you have to do is click Initialize Velocity. So down here some keyframes have been created. And if we click Play, Suzanne flies through the wall. When we clicked Add Object up here, the location or rotation that we'd already applied to Suzanne were set up in the impulse settings so it knew where to start the object. If you want to change that, all you got to do is move it and you click Use Current and it will update the values. You can also slide these values manually. Then you can also set the angular velocity. We'll have Suzanne rotate on the z-axis at 6 meters per second. And let's have this start on frame 15. Click Initialize. Press Alt A. Now Suzanne rotates and hits the wall and starts a bit farther back. And you can also change these quality settings, which just change the steps per second down here. So low, medium, and high. And with lots of objects or really fast movements, it's really nice to be able to set the steps per second to a higher value so then the physics are less buggy. Sometimes things would like to jitter around. Nice stable physics right there. And then let's duplicate Suzanne. Put her right up there. And let's just change some of these values. So let's use the current location, current rotation. Let's have it move to the left. So negative 8 meters per second. And let's have it go a little bit slower towards the wall and have it start on frame 5. Now instead of going through each object and clicking Initialize Velocity, what you can do is click Update All. So now, both of these objects' changes have been updated, and if you click Play, they both move. So if you go through and change, let's say this one, no more angular velocity, and let's have it go up a little bit as well, and then Suzanne, let's have it start this one a little bit higher, Update All, and they'll both move and their changes are updated. With update all, you can also use the autoplay option, which after running it, it'll automatically start the animation, which is a nice little feature. So I'm going to delete this other Suzanne I created and show you the last few features. So far we've been using initial velocity. There's also goal mode, which is a bit different, but what you do is you choose an object or create an empty. I'm going to create an empty and just place it kind of close to the wall at a location where I want it to be. So this is the goal. This is where Suzanne's going to end up. Back at Suzanne, set a velocity, start frame. I'm going to go back to 1 and click set goal. Now Suzanne flies towards the wall and along this path it's an animated object. That means any physics objects in this path, Suzanne won't react with them. But after it's reached the end, Suzanne will react again. So there's a slight problem with this, you have to be aware. If you set the object intersecting another object and run update all or set goal, see how right there Suzanne wasn't reacting and so she was still flying along her path and so these cubes flew way faster than they should have. So just make sure that if you use an empty or an object, not, no collisions will happen like that. So that was a bit better right there. So if you've noticed, 
with this, it's been rotating. That's because the empty has a rotation of zero on all three axes, and Suzanne's rotated 180 degrees on Z. So if we just change the Z to 180 on the empty and run it, Suzanne will not rotate anymore. So this way you can set some rotation on the empty and also rotate Suzanne as she flies along. So that's about it. That's how to use this add-on. Thanks for watching and enjoy.